Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Susie, and um, today I have uh, two small revelations that I received last night, and uh, it could have been um, 5-15-2016, and, but I do believe that they are very, very important, and that's why I'm here to share with you guys to uh, give you a warning, a heads up, that um, things are about to happen. In the first one, uh, I was like in our home, my house, and uh, I could see outside that it was getting dark. And I opened the door to see what is going on outside because at the time, uh, it wasn't in the night, it wasn't uh, in the morning, but it was around maybe 2, 3. The reason that I know that it was around that time is because I was looking, I was um, uh, waiting for my, for my niece who comes to school around 3. 15 so I was waiting for her to come out of school and and I opened the door and I see that it was uh, so dark outside it wasn't completely dark but it was really uh, really dark I mean you could say that kind of darkness you could say maybe around um, maybe around seven because nowadays uh six o'clock there's still light but there wasn't light there was darkness and and I was worried I was like oh where is my my niece she's not back from school yet and as I'm thinking about it, I was like, how is she going to make it home? Looks like the darkness is, is increasing. And, and then I heard a voice, a lady, I couldn't see. And she said, uh, just keep the door open. She, she will come in, um, keep the door open. And then she said something significant. She said, the darkness will descend completely five at 5.37 p.m. That's what she said. The darkness will descend at 5.37 and so that gave me a little comfort because, you know, my niece comes from school around 3.15. So the lady said the darkness will descend completely at 5.37. And, and so I had to leave the door open for her to come in, you know, uh, so that, you know, um, she's not stranded, you know, if I lock the door because of darkness, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I was um, shaken up that, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit, or who I do believe was the Holy Spirit talking, uh, say that the darkness will completely descend at 537. Now that was a clock. So I don't know what 537 completely means, but that's the time that I was, I was given. And uh, it was already, when I opened the door to look at the atmosphere, it was already dark. And this picture that I have here, I mean, it, it, it does seem like, you know, there's light there, but it was more darker than that. And, um, and so, so, uh, and then I'm also, re I was also reminded about, uh, what the Lord had, uh, given me way before I didn't make a video about that, but you know, the Lord had told me about my, my niece that we will leave as, um, as school closes. I mean, not as school closes, but that as, as she closes school, she will not go back to school, meaning that we're going to be gone after that. And, and then here I am, I'm waiting for her from school, which closes us three, uh, three, three, 15 p.m. to come and then the lady says that the darkness will completely come at 5:37. Now, 5:37 me can mean a lot of things, but I don't think it's uh, it's a long time, you know, because uh, you know it felt like you know the, it was already dark. I mean, uh, and if if the darkness completely descends, I mean, the, you mean you couldn't even see your way when you're walking on the streets. That's what I thought. You couldn't even see your way. And another revelation that I also received last night was about a friend of mine who died, you know, I uh, was in 20, 2015. And I dreamt this person that we were like at the airport and I see him that he's um, in a plane. We are standing at the balcony and we're looking at this plane and he was in it and he descends. I mean, the plane descends and it landed. And the plane landed and he got out and went into one of the buildings. And then I was like, oh, let's go see this person. He was a Christian. And um, and then somebody says, well, you have to start. You, you, you know, I says, like, which room is he in? Then um, somebody tells me and says that start counting from the 15. So I started counting from the 15, 16, uh, and 17. Um, but maybe probably I needed to continue counting. I don't know. But I started counting from the 15. So maybe there is a significance of us counting from the 15, which was yesterday. 
I don't know why counting, but we have to count from the 15. Well, maybe seven days later, I have no idea, but I was told to count from the 15 to go and see him. So, uh, and that I do believe was the resurrection. It, it does symbolize the resurrection that, you know, um, the dead in Christ has about to, um, they're about to rise, you know, from the dead. And so I have some more, uh, little scriptures. The first one that I have is John 8 verse 12. And this scripture is just to warn us, uh, to alert us, uh, that the time of darkness is soon to be here. But what does Jesus say about, about the time of darkness? And in John chapter 8, verse 12, I'm going to read that. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And so it's so important that we should have Jesus, Yeshua, so that we cannot walk in darkness. And even though this darkness is descending even right now, it's descending even right now, completely, the lady said, at 537. But it says, when we have Yeshua Jesus as our light, we will never walk in darkness. And I urge anyone who doesn't have Jesus, things are about to get ugly. The world is, is about to go into complete darkness. And that's what I could discern. When I opened the door, I could discern darkness already descending. It was already night, almost night. And let us have Yeshua, Jesus Christ, confessing our sins, repenting, and having him as our light. You know, he is the, he is the light. He says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have light of life. It's so important that we have him. There is no any other way. There is no any other light that can, um, you know, that can give us light when there's darkness like that. It's only him. And another scripture that I have is Matthew 4, verse 16. But I'm just going to start on verse 15. And it says, Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent! For the kingdom of God of heaven has come near. So you can clearly see here the people who lived in the land of darkness, in the land of shadow of death, a light has dawned. Let Yeshua's light dawn in our hearts and also in our minds, receiving him. He is our salvation. He is the way on our path. No other light will give us, you know, a clear direction but it's only only him and so i urge everybody who doesn't have him receive him today repent and receive his kingdom in yeshua's name okay saints that's all i have for you i hope you will be encouraged this week you be encouraged and keep pressing in because time is almost up this is sister susie until next time bye